In probability theory, Chebyshev's inequality guarantees that in any probability distribution, nearly all values are close to the mean a euro the precise statement being that no more than 1 per carat 2 of the distribution's values can be more than k standard deviations away from the mean. The rule is often called Chebyshev's theorem, about the range of standard deviations around the mean, in statistics. The inequality has great utility because it can be applied to completely arbitrary distributions. For example, it can be used to prove the weak law of large numbers. In practical usage, in contrast to the 68-95 to 99.7% rule, which applies to normal distributions, under Chebyshev's inequality a minimum of just 75% of values must lie within two standard deviations of the mean and 89% within three standard deviations. The term Chebyshev's inequality may also refer to Markov's inequality especially in the context of analysis. History, the theorem is named after Russian mathematician Pafnuty Chebyshev, although it was first formulated by his friend and colleague Ira Copyright Nar Copyright E. Jules Bionema Copyright. The theorem was first stated without proof by Bionema Copyright in 1853 and later proved by Chebyshev in 1867. His student Andrei Markov provided another proof in his 1884 PhD. Thesis. Statement. Chebyshev's inequality is usually stated for random variables, but can be generalized to a statement about measure spaces. Equals probabilistic statement equals, let x be a random variable with finite expected value i one quarter and finite non-zero variance i two florins. Then for any real number k greater than zero. Only the case k greater than one is useful. When k a per mil 1 currency the right hand, and the inequality is trivial as all probabilities are a per mil 1 currency. As an example, using k equals a stu shows that the probability that values lie outside the interval does not exceed one half. Because it can be applied to completely arbitrary distributions, the inequality generally gives a poor bound compared to what might be deduced if more aspects are known about the distribution involved equals measure theoretic statement equals, let be a measure space, and let f be an extended real valued measurable function defined on x. Then for any real number t greater than 0 and 0 a, a per mil currency e, y slash a. One way to prove Chebyshev's inequality is to apply Markov's inequality to the random variable y equals 2 with a equals 2. It can also be proved directly. For any event a, let i a be the indicator random variable of a, that is i a equals 1 if a occurs and 0 otherwise. Then, the direct proof shows why the bounds are quite loose in typical cases, the number 1 to the right of a per million is replaced by, x a i 1 quarter slash, key florin 2 to the left of a per million, whenever the latter exceeds 1. In some cases it exceeds 1 by a very wide margin. Equals measure theoretic proof equals, fix and let be defined as, and let be the indicator function of the set. Then, it is easy to check that, for any. Since g is non-decreasing on the range of f, and therefore, the desired inequality follows from dividing the above inequality by g, t. Extensions, several extensions of Chebyshev's inequality have been developed. Equals asymmetric two-sided case equals, an asymmetric two-sided version of this inequality is also known. When the distribution is known to be symmetric for any, where i2 florins is the variance. Similarly when the distribution is asymmetric or is unknown and where i2 florins is the variance and i1 quarter is the mean. Equals bivariate case equals, a version for the bivariate case is known. Let x1, x2 be two random variables with means i1 quarter 1. I one quarter two and finite variance is I one florin, I two florins respectively. Then, where for I equals one, two, equals two correlated variables equals, Berge derived an inequality for two correlated variables x one, x two. Let I be the correlation coefficient between x one and x two and let I florin I two be the variance of xi. Then, Lau later obtained an alternative bound. Isir derived a further generalization. Let and define. There are now three cases. Case A, if and then. Case B, 
if the conditions in case A are not met but K1 K2 are per mil 1 yen and then case C, if none of the conditions in cases A or B are satisfied then there is no universal bound other than 1 equals multivariate case equals, the general case is known as the Bumbum a Euro Raymond a Euro Zuckerman inequality after the authors who proved it for two dimensions. Where xi is the ith random variable, i1 quarter i is the ith mean and i florin i2 is the ith variance. If the variables are independent this inequality can be sharpened. Okin and Pratt derived an inequality for n correlated variables. Where the sum is taken over the n variables and where ih is the correlation between xi and xj. Okin and Pratt's inequality was subsequently generalized by Godwin. Equals vector version equals, Ferentinos has shown that for a vector x equals with mean i one quarter equals, variance i two florins equals and an arbitrary norm of that. A second related inequality has also been derived by Chen. Let n be the dimension of the stochastic vector x and let e, x, be the mean of x let s be the covariance matrix and k greater than zero. Then, where y t is the transpose of y equals infinite dimensions equals, there is a straightforward extension of the vector version of Chebyshev's inequality to infinite dimensional settings. Let x be a random variable which takes values in a fra copyright chert space. This includes most common settings of vector-valued random variables, for example, when is a Banach space, a Hilbert space, or the finite dimensional setting as described above. Suppose that x is of strong order 2, meaning that for every seminorm a i plus or minus. This is a generalization of the requirement that x have finite variance, and is necessary for this strong form of Chebyshev's inequality in infinite dimensions. The terminology strong order 2 is due to Vakhania. Let be the Pettis integral of x, and let be the standard deviation with respect to the seminorm a i plus or minus. In this setting we can state the following general version of Chebyshev's inequality. Proof The proof is straightforward, and essentially the same as the finitary version. If i florin i plus or minus equals zero, then x is constant almost surely, so the inequality is trivial. If then x a i one quarter i plus or minus zero, so we may safely divide by x a i one quarter i plus or minus. The crucial trick in Chebyshev's inequality is to recognize that the following calculations complete the proof. Equals higher moments equals, an extension to higher moments is also possible. Equals exponential version equals, a related inequality sometimes known as the exponential Chebyshev's inequality is the inequality. Let k, x, t, be the cumulant generating function. Taking the legendary a euro fenchel transformation of k, x, t, and using the exponential Chebyshev's inequality we have. This inequality may be used to obtain exponential inequalities for unbounded variables. Equals inequalities for bounded variables equals, if p, x, has finite support based on the interval, a, b, let m equals max, a, b where x is the absolute value of x. If the mean of p, x, is 0 then for all k greater than 0. The second of these inequalities with r equals to is the Chebyshev bound. The first provides a lower bound for the value of p, x. Sharp bounds for a bounded variate have been derived by Nematalo, let 0 per mil currency x a per mil currency m where m greater than 0. Then, case 1. Case 2. Case 3. Finite samples. So A L extended Chebyshev's inequality to cases where the population mean and variance are not known and may not exist, but you want to use the sample mean and sample standard deviation from n samples to bound the expected value of a new drawing from the same distribution. Where x is a random variable which we have sampled n times, m is the sample mean, k is a constant and s is the sample standard deviation. g, x, is defined as follows. Let x a per mil 1 yen, q equals n plus 1, and a be the greatest integer less than q slash x. Let. Now. This inequality holds even when the population moments do not exist, 
and when the sample is only weakly exchangeably distributed. This criterion is met for randomized sampling. A table of values for the saw euro yang euro mo inequality for finite sample sizes, n1 and the distribution of x is symmetric then we have. Equality holds if and only if z equals a k, 0 or k with probabilities 1 slash 2 k 2, 1 or 1 per carat 2 and 1 slash 2 k 2 respectively. An extension to a two-sided inequality is also possible. Let u be greater than 0. Then we have equals semivariance is equals, an alternative method of obtaining sharper bounds is through the use of semivariances. The upper and lower semivariances are defined. Where m is the arithmetic mean of the sample, n is the number of elements in the sample and the sum for the upper semivariance is taken over the elements greater than the mean. The variance of the sample is the sum of the two semivariances. In terms of the lower semivariance Chebyshev's inequality can be written. Putting Chebyshev's inequality can now be written. A similar result can also be derived for the upper semivariance. If we put Chebyshev's inequality can be written. Because I florin U2 a per mil currency I2 florins, use of the semivariance sharpens the original inequality. If the distribution is known to be symmetric, then and this result agrees with that derived using standardized variables. Note, the inequality with the lower semivariance has been found to be of use in estimating downside risk in finance and agriculture. Equals Selberg's inequality equals, Selberg derived an inequality for P, X, when A A per mil currency X A per mil currency B. To simplify the notation let, where, and, the result of this linear transformation is to make P, A A per mil currency X A per mil currency B, equal to P, Y A per mil currency K. The mean and variance of X are related to the mean and variance of Y. With this notation Selberg's inequality states that these are known to be the best possible bounds. Equals Cantelli's inequality equals Cantelli's inequality due to Francesco Paolo Cantelli states that for a real random variable with mean and variance, where AA per mil 0 yen, this inequality can be used to prove a one tail variant of Chebyshev's inequality with k greater than 0. The bound on the one tail variant is known to be sharp. To see this, consider the random variable x that takes the values, with probability, with probability, then e, x equals 0 and e, x2, equals i2 florins and p, x0 then. The necessity of k2 a key cubed a 1 greater than 0 requires that k be reasonably large. Equals mits and matcha and up pairs inequality equals, mits and matcha and up pair note that. For any real k greater than 0 and that. Is the 2 kth central moment. They then show that for t greater than 0. For k equals 1 we obtain Chebyshev's inequality. For t a per mil 1 yen, k greater than 2 and assuming that the kth moment exists, this bound is tighter than Chebyshev's inequality. Related inequalities, several other related inequalities are also known. Equals Slan's inequality equals, Slan has shown that. With. Where m is the mth moment and i florin is the standard deviation. Equals he. Zhang and Zhang's inequality equals, for any collection of n non-negative independent random variables xi with expectation 1. Equals Hoefding's lemma equals, let x be a random variable with a a per mil currency x a per mil currency b and e, x, equals 0, then for any s greater than 0, we have. Equals Van Zu Ilm's bound equals, let xi be a set of independent Radamaka random variables, pr, Xi equals 1, equals PR, Xi equals a 1, equals 0 0.5. Then, the bound is sharp and better than that which can be derived from the normal distribution. Unimodal distributions, a distribution function f is unimodal at i 1 half if its cumulative distribution function is convex on and concave on an empirical distribution can be tested for unimodality with a dip test. In 1823 Gauss showed that for a unimodal distribution with a mode of zero. If the second condition holds then the second bound is always less than or equal to the first. 
if the mode is not zero and the mean and standard deviation are both finite then denoting the root mean squared deviation from the mode by i per mil, we have and Winkler in 1866 extended Gauss inequality to RTH moments where are greater than zero and the distribution is unimodal with a mode of zero. Gauss bound has been subsequently sharpened and extended to apply to departures from the mean rather than the mode due to the Visakansky a Euro Petunin inequality. The Visakansky a Euro Petunin inequality has been extended by Tamadhikari and Joe Agdev, where S is a constant satisfying both S. R plus 1 and S, SARA1, equals R and R greater than 0. It can be shown that these inequalities are the best possible and that further sharpening of the bounds requires that additional restrictions be placed on the distributions. Equals unimodal symmetrical distributions equals, the bounds on this inequality can also be sharpened if the distribution is both unimodal and symmetrical. An empirical distribution can be tested for symmetry with a number of tests including McWilliams R. It is known that the variance of a unimodal symmetrical distribution with finite support, a, b, is less than or equal to 2 slash 12. Let the distribution be supported on the finite interval, a n, n, and the variance be finite. Let the mode of the distribution be 0 and rescale the variance to 1. Let k greater than 0 and assume k 0. Then, with this inequality it can be shown that where i 1 quarter is the mean of the distribution. Further discussion may be found in the article on Cheranov bounds. Notes, the Environmental Protection Agency has suggested best practices for the use of Chebyshev's inequality for estimating confidence intervals. This caution appears to be justified as its use in this context may be seriously misleading. 1. See also, Cheranov bound a euro a bound on sums of random variables, Cornish a euro Fisher expansion, Eaton's inequality, Hoefting's inequality a euro an exponential bound on the sum of a series of random variables, Kolmogorov's inequality, proof of the weak law of large numbers using Chebyshev's inequality, Lecam's theorem, Markov inequality, Tvoretsky or Euro Kiffer Euro Wolfowitz's inequality, multidimensional Chebyshev's inequality, Paleo Euro Zygmunt inequality, Visakansky a Euro Petunin inequality a Euro a stronger result applicable to unimodal probability distributions, concentration inequality. References Further reading, A. Papoulis, Probability, Random Variables, and Stochastic Processes, 3rd ed. McGraw Euro Hill ISBN 0-07-100870-5 pages 113 a Euro 114. G. Grimmett and East Isaacer, Probability and Random Processes, 3rd ed. Oxford. ISBN 0-19-857222-0. Section 7.3. External links, Haswinkel, Mikiel, ed. Chebyshev Inequality in Probability Theory, Encyclopedia of Mathematics, Springer, ISBN 978-1-55608-010-4, Formal Proof in the Mysore System.